Hello everyone. So in this video, we will solve a question which is based on real interview uh, from Microsoft. So in this case, we have to find the super cloud custom. So let's get started with the question. So in this case, you, you are given the details of the customers and the products purchased by them. So in this case, you have been given two different tables. One is the customers, customer contracts table. This is the name of the table and which contains records. Uh, this table contains records of each customer purchase details, including the customer ID, product ID and amount. So these are the columns which are present in this particular table, the customer ID, product ID and the amount. And the second table is the products table. So this table provides information about each product including product ID, product category and product name. So it has again three columns uh, that is the product ID, uh, what category it belongs to and what is the name of the product which denotes the product name. Now you have to identify the customers who have purchased at least one product from every product category listed in the products table. So you have to write a query to find the customers who have purchased at least one product from each product category, from every product category which are mentioned in the products table. So let's uh, see the sample input and sample output table. So if we go to the customer contract table, since I already told we have three columns, the customer ID, product ID and the amount. So here the customer ID is nothing but the ID of the customer. Product ID is the ID of the product which the customer has purchased and the amount is the one which, is, uh, which the customer has paid to purchase the product. Now the second table was the products table which had uh, uh, the details of the products. Uh, which contains product ID, product category and product name. So here and now since your task was to identify the customers that means to identify the customer IDs of those customers who have purchased at least one product from every product category listed in the products table. So now let's go to the customer IDs one by one and see uh, whether the customer uh, whether the, those customer IDs have purchased each uh, at least one, pro one product from each product category. So now uh, if we see for the products category, uh, products category column, there are three uh, products category that we can see. The one is the analytics, the second one is the customers and the third one is the compute. So there are three distinct product categories in our sample input table. Now, since we have to find the customers who have purchased at least one product from each product category. So, if we see for the customer ID 1. So, if the customer ID 1 has, product, uh, has purchased the product ID 1 which belongs to analytics category. Okay. Now, if we see for the customer ID 1 again here, he has purchased product 5, product ID 5. So, the product ID 5 belongs to the compute category. And then if we again go to the customer ID 1 here, he has purchased the product ID 2 which again belongs to analytics category. So now the thing is uh, the customer ID 1 has not purchased any product that belongs to containers product category. So this, uh, this customer ID cannot be there in our output because we want the uh, customer IDs of those customers only who have purchased at least one product from each product category uh, that are listed in the product table. So now if we go to the customer ID 2, let's search for the customer ID 2. If we see the customer ID 2 has purchased the product ID 2 which belongs to analytics category. And now if we see for the customer ID 2 again here, he has purchased product ID 5 which belongs to compute that means analytics compute. Now if we see again the customer ID 2, we cannot see any kind of customer ID 2 further. So that means the customer ID 2 has also not purchased uh, any product from the containers category. So this will also uh, not come in our output. Similarly, if we see for the customer ID 3, there is only one, there is only one product uh, purchased for the customer ID 3 that is the product ID 1. So this will also eliminate and will not be there in our output. Similarly, if we see for the uh, customer ID 4, the customer ID 4 Customer ID 4 has purchased the product ID 1 and the product ID 5. Again, it 
it has not purchased any product from the containers category similarly if we go to customer id 6 5 is not present here so if we go to customer id 6 uh, there is only one transaction made by the customer id 6 so again this will also not come in our output now if we see for the customer id 7 we can see that customer id 7 has purchased the product id 1 that belongs to analytics category the customer id 7 has purchased product ID 3 that belongs to containers category and the customer ID 7 has also purchased the product which is the product ID 6 which belongs to compute category. So in this case the customer ID 7 is something that is uh, satisfying our condition that means uh, the customer ID 7 is, has purchased at least one product from each product category from these sample input tables. So that we can say that the customer 7 that is the customer id 7 has bought from analytics product id 1 and customers uh, containers product id 3 and compute that is the product id 6 categories of azure and this is our super cloud customer so the customer id 7 will only come in our output okay so super cloud customer is the only one who has uh, purchased i mean whatever the condition that we have uh, we have already told that uh, it should have purchased at least one product from each product at least so, so that customer will be said to be the super cloud customer just for the clarification if in case you you just got confused with the super cloud customer here so i hope uh, you understood how how it has been calculated now the thing is uh, since we have to write this equal query so what will be our approach what what things we can do uh, what are the column columns how will we join these tables so now if we see for both the tables we can see that product id is something which is common in both the tables so we can just combine uh, the information from both the tables okay so what steps will we follow is the first of all first of all uh, even you might also uh, just pause the video here and think through it like what can be the ideal steps to follow to write the SQL query and by the next second we will be solving we will be uh, just uh, I'll be just uh, telling you the approach to solve this problem and later on we will uh, write the SQL query on MySQL workbench so now the first step will be the first step will be to combine the information from both the tables that means we will join the customer contracts table with the products table to get the first, uh, product categories associated uh, with each customer purchase so if we combine these two tables we will be able to find the product category uh, with for each customer purchase and then what we will be doing is we will just count the distinct categories per customer now in 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 order to in order to count the distinct categories per customer we will just group the data by customer id and then we will count the product category value for each customer and at last at last we will just compare uh, our distinct categories uh, the count of distinct categories per customer that we just calculated we just compare it with the total number of categories okay so if in case if in case the count comes out to be equal if in case the com uh, the count comes out to be equal then those cust those customer ids will be there in our output so what we will do is we will just compare with the total number of categories just to ensure that the count of distinct categories per customer is equal to the total number of distinct categories present in the product table so that this will make sure that this customer id is purchased each each and every each sorry each uh, at least one product from each uh, product category so this is how we will be doing it so now now let's write our query in my sql workbench and then uh, we will just uh, i'll just help you with the each and every step so let's start so guys moving on to my sql workbench here i have already imported both the tables the customer contracts table if i just run this query uh, it will give me all the columns which are present in customer contracts table. So, it, uh, since we already discussed, it contains three columns, pro customer ID, product ID and amount. And if I run this products table, again, we will get all the 
all the details of the products table which contains these three columns product id product category and product name so now the very first step that was it was to combine these both the tables so so we will be joining these both the tables and we will be using left join for this because since we want the customer ids so we will have to consider all the customer ids so we will have to consider all the records from the left table and only in the product category i don't think product name uh, is something which is relevant in our case so we just uh, we just our focus will be on only on the product category so let's uh, let's do the left join on uh, left join uh, from customer con con contracts table and the products table so here i'll just write my select from so my first uh, left table here is customer contracts and alias sc and then i'm just doing left join and i'm doing it with the products table alias as p and I'm doing it on the product ID column, which is the common column of both the tables. So C dot product ID is equal to P dot product ID. So now what whatever the records that I want, I want all the records from my customer contracts table. So I'm just writing C dot start. This will give me all the uh, all the columns. Uh, which are present in customer contracts table and i only want product category product id will already come because it is the common one and i only want the product category so i'll just take the product category from the products table so i just this so if i just run this what is what is something that we will get is we have got the customer id for each customer ID, we have got the details of the product ID and the amount they paid and the product category. Okay. So now, now the second step was, the second step was to count the distinct categories uh, per customer. I mean, uh, for each customer, for each customer, let's say for customer ID 1, what categories, what distinct categories have they, uh, what distinct categories uh, have they purchased so we will just count uh, count the number of uh, distinct categories per customer so now let's uh, from this table we will be using so let's make it as a cte with cte s so i've just made it as my cte so now from this table from from my cte select from c t e okay I want the customer ID, customer ID in my output and uh, since to count the distinct categories per customer, uh, we will have to group the data by customer ID and then uh, we can just count count the distinct product, product category values for each customer. So here I will just uh, do my group by clause, group by operation on my customer ID column, customer id column and then i'll uh, after doing the group by uh, group by clause after just grouping on the customer id column i'll just find the count distinct count the distinct product id uh, product category uh, values for each customer so i'll just make use of having having count of count of distinct product category product Category. okay now since i told that this count should be equal to the total number of categories which are present so to find the total number of categories just writing the writing the query here to find the count of uh, distinct product categories which are present in the products table so here we will only consider the products table so select from products products now since we here the count of distinct product category and here we will just count distinct product category from the product table product category from the 
product date okay so the, we are just comparing so for each customer id here for each customer id here we are finding the count of the products purchased uh, in each category so like for for the customer id one uh, it will come out to be two and then for the customer id some some somewhat like that it will just count the uh, count the distinct categories that each customer has purchased okay and and the last one this sub query this sub query will count the total number of distinct product categories available in the products so in the input table it was uh, three distinct categories but we don't really know about the data set that we might work on so there may be different different product categories so in this case we are just counting we are just comparing the product category so that that should be that should be equal so i'll just see this just one second what y cross is here okay this will be in a separate okay good so now if i just run my this query what i'll be getting is the customer id 7 so this is what we wanted the customer id 7 in our output so in this case what we have done is first of all we have uh, just wrote uh, we've just joined both the tables that is the customer contracts table and the products table uh, we did on we did the left join and we found uh, for each customer id for each customer id the product category the product id and all these things now from this particular this particular table we have just created we just write it as a ct because this is something that we want to consider so i just made it as a cte and ct is nothing but a, a temporary uh, temporary result set we can say so in the cte uh, we have uh, now from the cte we have just selected we have write, uh, written our query here our query starts from here the second uh, query here i mean that is the complete one query so uh, apart from the cte we are just extracting the customer id from the cte on a condition on a condition that are uh, distinct the count of distinct product categories per customer the count of distinct product categories per customer should be equal to should be equal to the total number of cat total number of distinct product categories which are present so if we just compare it if it comes out to be equal that means that uh, that is the customer who has purchased at least one product from each product category which are present in the products category table so here we have just the group by we have just done the group by operation on the customer id column and uh, here our main query uh, we have just extracted the customer id uh, we had to do the group by operation to aggregate uh, the data per customer so that we can just count we can just count the, uh, the distinct categories each customer that has purchased and then we have just written our sub query here just to make sure that we can count the total number of distinct product categories available in the products table from the products table here so i hope you understood you understood the solution if in case you still have doubts please let me know in the comment section and also if you have any other method to solve this problem please please share your solution in the comment section there so that others can see that 